Makes me uncomfortable. I don't like the idea. Yeah, animated, animated, you could have done great work, I think. Ooh, I'll take it. Love the poison dart guns. Collateral kill with firearms. Use a powerful weapon. We gotta get a penetrating weapon. Well, we'll see what our mission is first. Yeah, like I feel like Illumination doing Mario. That's fine. Illumination doing Zelda. You would have to make a very different kind of Zelda. I feel like what people would want, like the average fan is gonna want a relatively serious Zelda movie, like points of levity, some fun, but like largely they're gonna want a kind of serious Mario movie, right? Not Mario, Zelda movie. But as an animated thing, I feel like you could make like a funny kind of like sketch comedy almost Zelda thing, like do four swords, play it for laughs. I would really like that. And I know that sounds weird, but like if you've ever seen Elden Ring, there is an official Elden Ring manga, a comic series, and it's a gag comic series. It's funny. And I think that's a really fun, like, companion piece. You go in the opposite direction tonally. Shia LaBeouf is Link. <laughs> Do I have a boo button? I don't think I have a boo button. That's what you get. You get... You get farts. Farts is what you get for that. Mia Goth is... A link to the past. I like Mia Goth. I recently watched X and Pearl, and she was great as multiple characters across those two movies. Well, like seriously, Link Link is such a blank character, that's the whole point. I don't know I don't know who you put in there. You know who they're gonna put? They're gonna they're gonna dye his hair, they're gonna put that uh that waifish child from the Dune movies. What's his name? The guy that, obviously, they modeled the Liza P protagonist after? I'm forgetting his name right now. He's gonna be Link. No. Yeah, yeah, Timothy Charlemagne. They're gonna make him. But then I realized I know the real answer. You know who they're gonna make Link, right? They're fucking gonna put, uh... Tom Holland. They're gonna put Tom Holland as Link. That's who it's gonna be. I'm almost I'm almost willing to slide money across the table in a suggestion matter and say it's gonna be it's gonna be Tom Holland. I'll put money on it. Chris Pratt. No. They'll make Chris Pratt is gonna be uh they're gonna make Chris Pratt Ganondorf. He has to say excuse me, princess. Whoa, 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 whoever plays Dennis, as in from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Ganondorf's gonna have a moment where he talks about the implications. We have to get Princess Zelda on a boat because of the implication. Only use one disguise, poison the target, silence firearm kill. I mean, this sounds perfect for everything I currently have. Let's do that. Zac Efron is Princess Zelda. The only link I'll accept is Terminal Montage's speedrun link, or Cyanide and Happiness's Lunk. I would take a Lunk, Lunk movie. Come on, you cowards, give us the Lunk movie we deserve. Alright, under capacity now. This is going to be a dangerous game I'm going to play, because I'm going to bring my poison dart gun and my silenced pistol. That's just woof. If I lose this, I will be... I will be beside myself with grief. Drop the chloroform, drop the concussive grenade, drop the flash grenade. Yeah, Lunk is good. You haven't thought about Cyanide and Happiness in a while? I watch all their shorts as they come out. Danny DeVito is Tingle. I love Danny DeVito. You know who would be a, a fun Ganondorf? Who would bring a lot of fun charisma to it? 
Idris Alba. Make make Idris Alba Ganondorf. He'd have fun being Ganondorf. He could choose some scenery. Just Jack Black. Just the whole cast of Mario. Just bring the cast of Mario, they will be the Zelda characters. Jim Carrey, Jack Black. No, no, no. You know what? Here's what you do. You make it a Muppet movie. All right. The only human in the whole movie, Idris Elba, as Ganondorf. Everyone else is a Muppet. That's the movie. Done. Fucking dial me up, Hollywood. Every character's Nick Cage. All right. No, no. I take it. I take it back. Fuck the Muppets. Every character's Nick Cage. Mark motherfucking Hamill as Ganon. I thought you were going to say Mark Wahlberg for a second. Mark Wahlberg as the most Boston Ganondorf of all time. Looking for the Triforce. Terry Crews as Sheik, but not Zelda. I do love Terry Crews. Safe journey, 47. But I gotta be like, I am, I'm honestly shocked that Nintendo wants to do a live action Zelda movie. I feel like the Mario movie made a lot of money and they just immediately forgot that they have hated the idea of adaptations for years. All the caution's gone. One bad Mario movie that again, I love as a movie. And honestly, the Mario movie from the 90s is great when you hold it up next to, like, Captain Welcome N and the Game Masters. That's a, that's a real bad TV show. Super Mario area. Super Show? Track them down. My you god. Do you do best. You know what to do, Movie's barely bad when you compare it to those. I love the Super Mario Super Show, by the way, but it is bad. Hey, don't forget, kids! If you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. A rusty crowbar? Did I remember to take a crowbar with me? You know, I forgot to bring a crowbar. Looks like we're taking a crowbar. What makes you sad? Oh, far away. So much. Disney had a sub-billionaire, got a strike while the iron's hot. Disney made a lot of bad decisions recently. We can never see Robin Williams in a live action scene. You know, that is sad. He loved, loved the Zelda games. That is a proper bummer. I mean, you don't name your daughter Zelda if you don't love fucking franchise. We having a party over here? Well, this is just very convenient. Syndicate member eliminated. Well done, 47. Silent Assassin suit only. Hey, I'm only in my suit. Thank you very much. Live by the Pandaverse, you die by the Pandaverse. See, I don't even fall to that. Like, I know a lot of folks are like, oh, they didn't make money because of uh, forced representation. Honestly, I think all the problem stems from uh, the interim CEO that was there for a while when COVID happened. He basically went, you have to make twice as many movies and twice as many TV shows as you thought you were. And so the quality of all the stuff they made tanked. Like, some of those TV shows are just really fucking bad. Like, Secret Invasion was garbage. And it was garbage because it was written poorly and it was, like, reshot multiple times and it shouldn't have been made, period. They just pumped out way too much stuff to try and, like, prop up Disney Plus during the pandemic. Hasbro created a D&D specific TV show called Faster Pumpkin Worm Kill Kill. Really? Did someone slip a dick joke past the Hasbro head honchos? I mean, 
They also slip past them. It's a reference to a movie called Faster Pussycat, Kill, Kill, Kill. A very fun exploitation movie from, like, the 1970s. I live, I live for, like, trashy, trashy 70s, 80s, and 90s movies. There are so many things I would love to show you people in the Discord that I probably just can't. <laughs> I'm just not allowed. I like the new D&D movie, by the way. I thought that movie was great. It does seem like they realized that they forgot about quality and we're going just straight up to uh, qual quantity. So hopefully they're scaling back, but like the damage is is done. Like good lord. Oh, I love Chris Pine. Yeah. Wait, was that a real announcement? I'm pretty sure that's just a rumor about Silver Surfer being a lady. We're gonna laugh at people being mad over it. I mean, Silver Surfer just needs to be a silver person. I feel like that's the easiest character to do whatever you want with. But I have, like, no attachment to him. I don't know how I got into this closet, but it seems like I made the right call. No one in here, lady. Yes, I'd like to buy some guns. Thanks. Common. How come it's only garbage when I start showing up to your shops? I mean, I have a rusty crowbar. I just like having a crowbar in the, the box. So long as there's silver. That's all I want. I just want well-written movies. Like, again, a lot of the newer things, they didn't fail in in a lot of departments, but they did often fail in writing. Like, I can't, I cannot begin to describe how poorly written Secret Invasion was. It's like, hey, we got, we got like a tense spy thriller. It's like, oh yeah, we do? Do you know how to write one? Oh, you don't? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Nova, Dazzler. See, I know, like, I, I have no attachment to the comics, never read them. I know nothing outside of, like, whatever I, what I've absorbed through osmosis. Tim Robinson would make a perfect The Thing. <laughs> Now, I'm having trouble remembering who Tim Robinson is, but in my head, it's Colin Robinson from What We Do in the Shadows, the energy vampire, and to which I say yes, 100%. 100% do it. Go with him. If you need more, you know where to find me. Well, all you sell is garbage these days, so no thank you. I'm just gonna go shoot a man. So far, I'm on my way to making a decent payday. Am I going the right way? I absolutely am not. Hence the dick joke. <laughs> oh, he's up top? I might be able to just, like... Find a quiet corner where I could see the roof and just pop them. Oh my god, yeah, I could see him from here. Oh, 
Damn, he wandered off. Ooh, a box. Faster Pussycat was a pretty bad band in the late 80s. Oh, I didn't know that. Blueberry fucking muffin. Hell yeah. Breakfast is taken care of. Alright, I feel like if I can get line of sight on him on the roof from over here, this is gonna be an easy kill. The answer is yes, I could totally get line of sight from over here. Is that a skeleton? <gasps> is that a bone a bone pick lot? Oh my god, it's a lock pick made of a finger bone. That's great. will surely be a blow to the syndicate. Return to the safe house. Collect yourself. I'll be in touch. Okie dokie. That's supposed to be on this part of the beach? What's that? I'm a shipwreck clown! You gotta help me! So we have like 50 Spider-Man. Run this on yourself. Good, just kept quiet. Do 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 do. No, the level of the starfish is like the resort. Shh. Don't tell anyone I was here. Yeah, like. I don't have any stake in these comics. All I care about is make making a movie that looks good and is well written. That's all I care about. That's all I want. They don't all have to be like as good as like Guardians of the Galaxy. I think all three of those movies are fantastic. I really enjoyed like Civil War it was really good. Is this like a, a taxi service? Am I just walking in here and buying a taxi? Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. But also, hold on, hold on, I'm just gonna run and... They should be on the boat with me. bank on that one. Bank! So much money. Yeah, yeah. Marketing relies on already well-known things. Like, uh, the new movie, The Marvels. I actually, I have seen this movie. I went to see it. And I gotta say, like, it's fine. It's fine. It's not their best movie. It's not their worst movie. It's like right in the... I would put an upper middle even. Upper middle. But it's not making any money. And I feel like... The very obvious reason it's not making money is that... If you watch a trailer for this fucking movie... It's like, hey, you wanna go see this movie? You watch the trailer? You don't... Who, who are the people in the fucking movie? You don't know. If you haven't watched all of the TV shows... You don't know who most of the cast is. And not everyone has, like, Disney Plus. That struck me as just a very bad idea. 
Oh, we got a bedroom now. Finally, we can sleep. Like, that's too much homework to ask people to see a new movie. It's like, you want to see a sequel to a movie that's also a sequel to not one, not two, but three television shows? Like, good lord. Impressive no. Work, 47. No, I don't. Let me know when you're ready for your next assignment. <laughs> Piss everyone off. Yeah, like, I already accepted, like, if I'm gonna watch a Marvel movie, I probably need to have seen some of the previous Marvel movies outside of, you know, pretty obvious origin stuff or, like, standalone different dimension or galaxy stuff. By the way, I, I don't, I don't like, don't like the multiverse. The multiverse, it re removes all the stakes from all of these movies for me. I don't, I don't care for it. But it's too much homework now. Like, TV shows is pushing it. The TV shows need to be nice little standalone things. We got headshot kills only. Only $500 for that? The good money is poison someone with a dark gun. Excellent, 47. We have now tracked down the syndicate leader's location. I gotta poison someone, headshots only, which I have provided you with new intel. Problem with the MCU is that they're not comic books. Kind of. Like, comics can do, like, this multiverse stuff and have multiple versions of characters and all that, and, like, that's fun. But with movies, like... I feel like you kind of need to keep the stakes viable. Yeah, like a nice Easter egg, not crucial understanding. I, I figure it's inevitable, but my problem with it is the way they've been doing it. It hasn't been like... <coughs> uh, everything, every... New Orders everyone, Agent everything, 47. Disregard the Geneva Convention. Oh, every mission, comedian, every mission. Everything Everywhere All at Once was like a multiversal movie that actually used the concept to tell a story. Like... It was about regrets and choice and like what it means to participate in life with other people. And so like, oh cool. The themes support the setting supports the characters. That's a good movie. And so far the Marvel multiverse stuff has largely been here's a story. The multiverse really doesn't matter for like the character's journey or the themes we're exploring, but it does mean you get to see Oh, look at this! Multiple Spider-Men! Aren't you excited? It's like, not really. <laughs> like, it's a good- I like that movie, but like, it doesn't- it didn't need to have other Spider-Men. Uh... Even- even Miss Marvel has like a post credit scene that relies on multiverse stuff, and it's like, I don't care. I don't care! Like, that doesn't matter to me. There's- there's no connection here, it's just a different version of a thing I've seen before. Oh, great movie! I love that movie. Neutralize a lookout. Open safe with an explosive. I'll do. I'll neutralize a lookout. Yeah. I, again, I I like that one a bit more than a lot of the other multiverse stuff. Because at least they did something with like, oh, this character from another movie kind of finishes an arc that he never got to finish. And it's like, oh, that's neat. You get to see where they went. But, like, it could have tied in a little bit better. Multiverse of Madness barely did anything with the concepts. It was just had to be there to move all this garbage forward. I don't want to spoil, like, the post-credit thing from Ms. Marvel. But, like, that, that was the one I really cared about the least. Where it's like, so what? Like, this doesn't matter. I'll be in touch when you reach your destination. Less egregious than The Flash, though. I think The Flash was the worst out of all of that kind of uh, multiverse stuff. Do, do, do. 
comics drive uh, thrive on Monster of the Week stuff. Yeah, the big crossover storylines, which are very big and exciting and flashy. Welcome to the Isle of Scale. This is it. We've tracked down the Syndicate leader. You need to identify the target first. On the other hand, we do know this. They are here for a business meeting. As for the little identification <gasps> we have, Pluto. we know that they have gray hair. They are wearing earrings. They are wearing a necklace. Gray and hair, glasses. earrings, necklace. We also know glasses. that the target has a sweet tooth. And we know that they suffer from allergies. I'm sorry we don't have more. Don't disappoint, 47. Good luck. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, yeah. Not to mention, like, they completely changed the game when it comes to movies. Everything wants to be a big, cinematic, like, multiversal, connected... It's just, just, just make standalone movies. If you're not going to invest the time to, like, really interconnect these things in a smart, well-thought-out way, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't change out for one second. You were so close, Tucker. Okay. Not nothing. Nothing over here. Listen, you know it's good for you. You won't come explore. You need to start the setup from the ground up. Like you really do. It needs to be well thought out, planned. Blizzard's been thinking about doing things the MCU way. I don't know how they would interconnect their properties. They have like a sci-fi setting and a medieval fantasy setting. How are you going to make those two things touch? Crash Bandicoot 3? My god. Oh, just Warcraft stuff. You know, I feel like maybe, maybe I do need a costume before I keep going. I feel like that's a, that's a bad idea to go as a clown right now. Did I bring anything I just like huck out as a distraction? No. I mean, you're a lookout, right? See, I feel like you can do like some of the uh, good things they were doing were exploring the concepts of like where does where does where does story go after half the people in the world disappear? and then come back again five years later. But they really didn't commit to the bit. Yeah, 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 come, come take a look. Jesus H. Christ! Hey, I need some help over here. Yeah, send more guards. Oh God, this shit's all messed up. Do something, please. I just found some dead people. It's it's weird Fuck to me that they didn't have a stronger thought out plan for post Thanos, but again, part of me thinks they might have had one. But it all fell apart because of COVID. Like, so much of this is stemming from, uh... Stemming from COVID. What? Like, trying to force through a lot of TV shows that probably didn't need to happen. Doubling their fucking movie output. It's just too much. 
don't look so good to me. You're just supposed to lack a banana? Wait, was I not supposed to... What was I not supposed to do until the banana? I didn't see the message, I'm sorry. I'll bring you... I'll do the... I'll get you a banana. Alright, we're gonna banana something right now. Just make up for it. Oh, thank God you're here. This is bad. We need help, please. There are dead people... There we go. DC will actually be redeemed? No way. I mean, I have hope, but my hope largely is... They have hired a person to just be the focus of it. Someone that's going to plan the whole thing. That's the only way you could do that. But, we're having a lot of like... Just people don't want to see these movies anymore. You've got to be kidding me, you didn't step on the fucking banana? How are they so good at avoiding my banana? I just want more Peacemaker. I really like Peacemaker. Come on. Walk into the room. Sorry, Taco, I let you down. Need some assistance. Hey, you. There's a whole bunch of dead people on the ground over there. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Huh? Jesus Christ, someone went on a I love the people over there didn't notice. There's definitely ways that DC can make a good series of movies. And I'm hoping they do. Like, I always just- I always just want more good movies. That's all I want. Give me more fun stuff to enjoy, that's all. I won't root for your failure or your downfall, I just... I hope you do a good job, and I hope I get to enjoy it. Come on, why am I- why am I not allowed up here? I'm cool, I could hang out up here. Very good. good like Velma. <laughs> I have not watched Velma. So I can't comment on Velma. But, part of me does, like, I, I understand enough of that concept where it's like, why, why make that if you're not going to, like, it's like, why make Scooby-Doo, but, like, without, without the Scooby-Doo? It feels like that was a brand new idea that they just kind of, like, crammed into, crammed into the clothing, just kind of forced it in there. Yeah, Scooby, don't do that. If I can just slip into that window, I'll be fine. Ah, uh, I work here. I have too much to watch. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna waste my time with that kind of stuff. I'm a multiple Tony award-winning playwright and famously reclusive. It's part of my brand. Mod Zombie, hello. Thank you for that raid. How are you? How was your stream? League of Legends, did you win? You didn't say mean things to people, did you? Hello, fellow guards. Jesus, put the gun away, man. How's it going, Moth? <laughs> right, now I can start moving toward my targets. Hello. All right, no white dots here. We can smoothly move through. Not salty, success, nice. My theory for Marvel right now is they're going to just 
strap a brick to the accelerator, and they're going to try and drive their franchise as quickly and as efficiently as they can into a reboot. Like, they're just going to... They're going to get to this, like, Kang Dynasty nonsense where it's all multiversal stuff. All the multiverses are going to explode and ram into each other, and then they're going to reboot. Because now they have all the rights they want. They have the X-Men, they have the Fantastic Four, they have the Hulk. They will probably have Spider-Man wholesale by then. And then they could just start over from the beginning. <laughs> with all the characters they've wanted from the start. And they're just gonna go. That's my theory. Don't let him get away! Whoa, 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 combat! Oh my god. Disaster. Why did they go straight to gunning me down? No! I had so much money. It rather appears that you ran out of luck. One white dot bastard. I have in fact seen that movie, Matsumi. I've seen it. It was fine. Like it's not that bad. It's better than a good chunk of them. Well, that was disastrous, man. Disastrous. Like what what if I just had to I had diarrhea, right? Just I was about to fill my pants from ankles to waistbands in soupy mess. And I'm just like making a, a sprint for a bathroom. I'm clearly dressed as a guard. The syndicate managed to go into hiding. And one guy's just like suspicious. I'm sure that you have new ideas in mind to make sure that they won't be so lucky next time. Sorry, we still have 13,000. Such language. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to say it. I'm part foul language myself. I feel like a problem that Marvel and DC have had for a while now is they don't like to keep their villains alive. They always just want to have the villain show up and then either die or disappear forever. And then the story continues without those characters. And the comics... The comics, they're supposed to be much more prevalent. Like, the Joker shouldn't just disappear forever. <laughs> like, they should come back. Twitch just crashed and coming back in, I got an ad for Coinbase. <laughs> See, they understand I lost all my money. You speak bird. Oh, you want to follow, like, the storyline from the games, my dude. Alright, let's not do New York again. I just want to, like, get through part one one more time. Colorado's a nightmare. Ooh, a lot of poison stuff. What map have we done that's a fun map? Sapensia, Italy. Dartmoor, England. I do like Dartmoor. Oh, sick games is fun. You know what? We'll do our last last run on this. Will be sick games. Let's go to Dartmoor. Two targets. Shit! I lost my I lost my my pistol. I lost it. No. No. Ah, oh, whatever. The Joker needs to die. Just have a new Joker. It's fine. <coughs> As he turns into the Batman who laughs. And then we switch dimensions. And then he shows up as a villain later on. That might be a little, <laughs> a little bit too much. Everything in that dimension was was uh, not real. Or was real, but it wasn't like the dimension we're gonna spend our, our time in. I can't I can't talk anymore apparently. My brain is shut down fully. Do, do. Grab a banana. Gotta get that potassium. He is good for you.
Have a good trip, 47. Give time for the storyline to slowly cook. That'd be nice. You still watch them, but you're ready for something else? That's fair. I just... They sped up too much. I was talking about it earlier, but... <clears throat> like, the output of movies was, like, nice, consistent. One, two movies a Welcome year. To Thornbridge it was Manor. fine. Intel tells us but then they, like... Syndicate members are they really the just went nuts. It was Captain a movie Jack every other month. We had TV shows all the fucking reason. time. It was just too much. All, good luck. Pull back. Good lord. I love having two guards posted next to a wall that doesn't do anything. They lost track of, like, the fact that it needs to be quality, not quantity. I'm just a creepy clown that likes to hang out on the edges of property lines in England. Normal stuff. I mean, we'll know pretty quick how the DC movies are going to go after the first one happens, because they're doing a Superman movie as the first official one. And if they drop the ball there, it's over. So I'm going to be really curious to see, like, how does that first Superman movie do? I have never not enjoyed, like, a James Gunn movie, so my hope is that it will be good. Yeah, you gotta give people time to watch the content. Like, you asked about the Marvels. Uh, not you, but... Uh, wait, who asked about the Marvels? Someone asked about the Marvels, but, like, again... That movie's failing because in order to understand what the hell's going on in that movie, you had to have watched one movie. Well, not one movie, like, at least several movies, the Marvel movies. And then three additional TV shows on top of that. Like, it's too much. That's insanity. You can't do that. Because you're just like, who's that character? Why do they have superpowers? I'm gonna tell you right now, in the movie, where it's like, who's Monica Rambeau and why does she have superpowers? The movie just goes, oh, she walked through a witch's hex. It's like, that's how you're gonna explain that? This movie's only an hour and a half long. I'm, I'm happy it's short. Thank God they finally made a short Marvel movie. But the first movie they make short is the one that they should have spent time explaining things for. It was very funny. Yeah, yeah, about the Marvels, not for the Marvels. But I was like, I, I was almost laughing out loud because like a character shows up, I know who they are. Because I saw the TV show or I saw. Is that 130 with credits? No, no, it's like closer to 140 with credits. Yeah, like they almost needed to have like um, fucking Final Fantasy 16's X-ray button where a character walks on screen and you could just pause the game and have it explain to you who this person is. What a good feature that game introduced. Yeah, it wasn't even a two hour movie. Yeah, or like the Suicide Squad intros. But again, out of all the movies to not take the time it's the one that needs the most introduction for people. Who's that? Oh, that's Kamala Khan. She has a magic bangle that her grandma mailed to her. That's how they explained it in the movie. It's like, what? That's like a funny joke for me, because I watched the movie. Like, if someone in here hasn't seen this movie, I, I would have rioted. Oh, I'm like, give him my fucking money back. What the fuck you doing? You would pay for that feature? sometimes and that detective asked to come here madam carlisle must believe zachary was murdered why else ask him to snoop around i think it's a combination of like the leadership of disney changed for a period of time and again he like the new guy he's no longer there he got kicked out but when he was there like he demanded that output get like tripled so you have that you have the shuffling from covid it was a perfect storm of like, oh, wow, you're really going to fuck this up now. Do, 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 do. 
Uh, scale this way. Yeah, the rider strike, actor strike, like a lot of things really came together all around the same general time to fuck a lot of stuff up for him. Well, 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 what did you find? It might be like too late to, to right the boat, but we we will actively find out as time progresses. All the transfers of funds and privileges I've been through have been bulletproof. He intercepted the arrangements our office for years. Got enough air there, buddy? You could turn around and go back inside now? Should be. Thanks, bud. He should bloody well be the one to clean up this whole mess. I don't know what to say. Say nothing, just just leave. Kill the messenger, Alexa. Please. Continue your efforts, Miss Yes, yes, I can. Alright, she's leaving. I love that someone in this office isn't suspicious of a clown right now. <laughs> oh, I thought he would do it in the game, sorry. <laughs> I'll be really curious to see like how how the how the next so many movies go in this nightmare of a interconnected universe of movies. But I'm kind of with you, Zombie. Like I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna write it out. Like I just like watching movies in general. I'm I'm lucky enough to live in a place where I can go to a theater and it costs me five dollars to see a movie. So it's like yeah, whatever. It's five dollars. If the movie is not great, it costs me five dollars. So I might as well just see the movies. All right, got one target down there. Another target opposite side of the house. Make the target slip. Oh yeah. Make a target slip, you got it. Where's my my other target? We'll go to that one first. Well, hold on now. They put out their way of water video. Gentlemen? Oh hell yeah, I'm excited for Dune 2. That director is awesome. The first half was great. Very excited for more. Sleep well, Nara. Thanks for hanging out today. It was a bad day, but hanging out with everybody made it a less bad day. Now to just repeat this over and over and over again for <laughs> for a while, probably. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I would be very curious to see if they continue doing Dune movies past the first Dune book, because, yeah, no, they get real weird. Sleep well, Nara. You think I would agree with the cinema sins for Way of Water? Probably. You know, you know I hate that movie. <laughs> I would almost certainly agree with them. Where are the stairs in this horrible house? All 
Alright. Got a banana with that guy's name on it. Ah, uh, uh, today I found out that my father has, like, stage four throat cancer. So my family is in, my family's in a tailspin right now. It's it's bad times. And at the start of the day, I wasn't going to stream, but like, I figured better to just distract myself and try and have fun with folks than sit in my brain and just obsess over problems. Yeah. Anyone else get sick from the random changing frames for Way of Water? I got sick from the plot of that stupid movie. They waste 45 minutes on whales that don't serve the plot in any way. <laughs> like, I wanted to... Ooh, I hate that movie. Yeah, I I'm feeling much better now than I was at the start of stream. There's no way, no way he doesn't slip on that bad boy. The butler, the goddamn butler. Come on, baby. What's your problem? Huh? What's your goddamn problem? <laughs> he has to slip out on the way back, right? Like, it's impossible that he doesn't. Come on, you gotta slip. You gotta slip for me, buddy. Oh, come on, butler. I gotta drop this explosive over there, too. He's the worst. There's gonna be an Avatar game. Here it comes. Here it comes. Whoop! Command, please acknowledge. Come in, command. Like, a guy slipped on a banana peel in, like, a very funny, slapsticky way. But they're treating it like a man with a gun was spotted or something. Excuse me! Help me! You gotta help me! How could you just stand there like nothing's happening? That was crazy what just happened down there, right, everybody? Is he not dead? Man, I got nothing. Can't believe I didn't kill the target with that. Shit, we lost Tango. What a letdown that explosive Man, goddamn golf down. ball. We got a killer on the loop. I'm going to kill the enemy cop. Don't you worry about it. Please, you need to leave now. Oh, 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 Are you gonna do something? Ha. I'm already wearing that disguise. Oh, Lord. They're helping him up. Oh, come on. There's there's no more disguises for me. I need to become a butler. My only hope. Why is it so engaging? No one can see me right now. It's Ubisoft. Hmm. 
Ubisoft, uh, uh, I don't know if I trust them to make a good Avatar game, but uh, I don't know if you can make a good Avatar game. But I say that as someone that just doesn't doesn't like Avatar. Specifically, the James Cameron Avatar Blue People movies. Let's be clear, Avatar Less Airbender is, is art. It's fucking perfect. It's got Koa. That won't help. Last Amber game sucked. I haven't played him. All right, let's resume trying to kill somebody. Just a comical pile of mistakes have happened here. Are you kidding me? How does this keep happening? What did it bounce off the floor and like roll over to that guy? This is Rogue One Actual. Garden area is clear. I repeat, clear. Out. Just the best. You mean the M. Night Shyamalan movie? Yes, everyone's favorite movie ever. Kill a couple of guys. Come on. Just, just the best. Find the perp. Check over there. Where's the butler? No, don't climb in there. No. Can't be you, no. I need something sharp and throwable. How does this house not have any knives? What is going on? Kitchen. Kitchen, you're gonna help me out. You got knives, right? Knives for days. Bar of soap. Here we go. Yes. Cleaver. Sorry, all right? It was my first relationship. Video games are cool. God, she is slandering me like no tomorrow here. How are things coming along inside? It's messed up. Is everything ready for tomorrow? Is everything ready for tomorrow? Whoop. 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 Hey, buddy. Can I dress up as you? Sorry, I know you only wanted two disguises, but... Sleep well, zombie. Well done, 47. This will surely be a blow to the Syndicate. At this point, I'm just gonna plug the guy with a passing pistol shot and just be on my way. Not true. Kidding me. Excellent work, forty seven. You've spread fear within the city. Oh, you should have left it. 
No, no! <laughs> I was just so tired of it. I'm like, oh, just throw the explosive. All right. I gotta go eat some food. And try to, like, just kind of zen out for a while. I was like, no, it'll be a short stream. I went for, like, almost eight hours. Can't help myself sometimes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's see if my brother's still awake. Probably give him a call. 47? Are you there? Just checking up on you. That yeah, oh, great. Great. Just looking at the fact that I went from like 20,000 to 7,000. <laughs> there we go. 8,000. Perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the Jurassic Park uh, pack. 